Holy moly, look at this. Holy moly. John F. Kennedy, President of America with kids out of the family car. Oh. Well, in July this year, we'll pass a million pound what we've raised for local charity the last 15 years. It's a piece of beauty, it's lovely, isn't it? Good morning, everyone. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. Today, it's still raining, but you can see the bit of a smile on my face. I was meant to go with Dad today, but unfortunately he had a bad night, sleep last night, so his back is hurting. He's doing very well, I wanted to catch up with him. We might catch up with him at the end of the video. He started planting some maize seeds and some egg boxes to see if it'll germinate from old maize when he had. Very exciting, watch the end of this video. But the start of this video, we're about to see something very, very cool from a guy we've seen on the channel before and who has a massive, massive collection of tractors. Let's go check it out. But you didn't know I was gonna go there. Sick fob shop. There is some kit here. Hello then. Hello. How are you? Where's that now? Look then? at this. How you on? Good luck, pal. You? Yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> you are looking thinner. Six sun <laughs> drops in 12 days. Six Four and a half sun of water. <laughs> we'll find out about that more. There's some real shot coming in. Yeah? Yeah, it looks great. Really, really good. Oh, dogs are in. Hey, doggy. Hey, doggy. Uh, uh, don't you do it. Let's just say to Pete, where, where, where do you want to start? Whatever you want. This is probably the biggest Classic. Business classic tractor sale in country this year. Is it? Yeah. And this is from one from single... One, from one owner. <laughs> this is incredible. So we're going to have a tour around what Peter's got to offer. There are some tractors here. There's some tractors in the mega shed that he's got. And there's some tractors at his spot as well. So we're not going to see every single one. But we're going to see what he's got. Because we've been chatting about this for about two yeah, years. Yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to look at them. And uh, then it's come... They were bought us in the investment with these, and now we just want to pull the investment in. We bought another farm, so yeah, we're having an option. And then he was like, I'm selling him. I was like, Well, we've got to have the opportunity to take a video of everything he's got. And the other thing as well, let people know where they are for sale because it's a hell of a collection, and there is loads. And there's something for literally everyone. Everyone, and there's two bites at Cherry. A lot of these tracks will work for farmers. Tell me, the grant out is of sowing ryegrass on the maze in his 16 inch wheel centers for doing it. Uh -huh. Ideal, Pete. Where are we going to start? Wherever you want, quick flick around then. Yeah, what have we got here? I've got a hat. It is, it is the wettest day ever. Look at this. 7, 8, 10. 2, 6, 40. A load of tractor Massey. 8, 2, 10. 30, 40. Oh, with the classic doors as well. Long wheelbase, aren't they? The old tractors. And I bet the heaviest stink. Gutted my dad couldn't come today. He was mad keen to come. Today's Thursday. He was mad keen to come on Monday. Uh, but then he just had a bad night. It was really annoying because it would have been great for him to have a couple of... Oh, look at this. 8, 7, 30 power shift. This is what you want in your life. Look at that! From, when's the sale? Uh, Saturday 23rd. Saturday the 23rd of March. And who's selling it? Cheffins. Cheffins. The big sale. Cheffins. They're the people for selling this sort of stuff. Because oh, they just did the HS2 one as well, didn't they? That's right. That's yeah. right. I love the old John Deere's with the old cabs yeah, on yeah, as well. Yeah, the SG2 cabs. Why did you start buying all these tractors? It was a little bit of a tax loop, if truth be known. <laughs> Well, we, we like giving it a treat. A little bit of a tax loop. We started buying them. I've had a few for maybe, I don't know, six or eight years, but we started buying them in force about four years ago. And if you follow Pete on Facebook, that's where to follow him. It was Red Fish Shed, Shed, Red Shed, Red Fish Shed. Four, there were three and four a week coming something. It was mad. It was a wagon load a week. Mad. Anyway, we just go. I can jewel her up. Yeah. So we bought them, and like I said they were bought for the investment at the time, and now we're just going to pull that investment in because we bought another farm. It was 500 acres, and it's there. We've just bought the house, the buildings, in about 35 acres. Oh, okay. So you bought the, the site? Yeah, the site. Bit of development. That old massive. Yeah, clean old thing. What it's you clean watch? inside it's as well. 3000 series. Doors generally rot away down yeah. there. Doors are solid on this. It's tidy inside as well, well isn't it? Like I said, a good clean thing. All these would go again. If you wanted a tractor for a job, 95% yeah, yeah, yeah. of these would run the again. The working tractors. Yeah, we'll go. Can we just appreciate this line? 
The big Fords, that's what's impressive. Yeah. Big tyres on them. Long wheelbase. Yeah, well, that'd be a massive tractor instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. D-Reg, so an 86. On that one, they didn't yard, yeah, that'd be big. But the simple. You can start with a spanner adjustable and a field. spanner. <laughs> and a screwdriver. People don't like adjustable spanners on this YouTube channel. Couple of tie wraps, a bit of, oh. bit of swing, you're off again. Two wheel drive. Two wheel drive with a full set of them, 2000 series, you'll see it's 26 22 wheel drive, 26 24 wheel drive, 26 42 wheel drive, 26 44 wheel drive, 26 82 wheel drive, 26 84 wheel drive, and a 27 25, which is in the shed and it's mint. How come you brought these ones out just for a bit of space? No, well, yeah, there was no room in the shed, it was absolutely full tick goodness. So they've just checked these over. New batteries on a few, make sure they start, make sure everything's right. That's a nice little Ford. Yeah, they're all good. I mean, this is a clean little thing, yeah, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, 6, 4, 10 as well, somewhere. It's absolutely So dad's, a, dad's away that weekend, you know? And he was saying, if there's anything, you know, that he might like, I was yeah. like, well, you've got to bid it. All you need to do is come and check out that turn. You don't need to pay up there. <laughs> good to I like this week. little Ford. Right, right. I'll, I'll be back with you. I'll be, I'm just going around the desert of tractors. That's nice. Yeah. That is a great little truck. New seat in it. The old Masseys are cool as well, aren't they? 5120. But again, a good clean tractor. Oh. That belongs to a fencing contractor. It's only ever put out the four snap on it. And this come off a lad in your car back quite a few tractors off, and you don't have a sprayer on it. Only had the spray and that's it. And again, you've got your no rust. No rust It's clean on side. That's what you go look for on them. Yeah. Autotronics, datatronics. But I like to think everything we bought is just as it's come. It's, it's, there's, there's only an odd one in them been painted. Yeah. And I bought them painted. I don't like painting myself. No, no. So they were just cropped up them in deals and we bought them. But I like to think that they're all just straight, honest, genuine things. Yeah. Like that, they you know. I think, <laughs> I think we were looking for something like that to, for our feeder tractor. But I think it'll be worth a bit more than what we looked at. Four five thousand. Go on. <laughs> now there are a load of these at Tom's. We took them last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, other farm next year. He had a load of these off me for when you're playing about seeding. Dad was loving it. He'd love simple. an old classic tractor. They are so simple. I know he's got he's got his old little things and the proper the BMCs and Alice Charmans. We'll do a video on it. He'll talk forever about them. Oh, I wouldn't mind a nice little Ford. These are big tractors in there. Yeah, yeah. Massive tractor. 5,000. If you bought a 7,000, you were getting on them. We have a 7,000 in the shed. But unfortunately, some of the smaller ones, like there's some small Fords in there, they'd be bad to find because they've rotted away on scrapers. Yes. 2,000, yeah. 3,000. Yeah. I, can't, or, I can't remember what we had as a scraper. I'll have to ask Dad. And it went. I'm taking a photo. I'm taking a photo of this. Yeah, should do that. That is class. Look at that. That would be feeding cows in style, wouldn't it? I've got to get in. Sorry, Pete. Oh, block number 923, Case IH 4240 Pro Diesel, fitted with front weight and extra large cab. Oh, look at that, it's got a seat in the back. So, funny enough, I remember sitting in an old big case that Dad had. It was an old International, it was the biggest tractor we had, it was two wheel drive. It was the only tractor that had a side seat. I think it was a back side seat like that. Uh, or just about here, it was in an odd spot. I used to love it because I could go around with Dad. I'll put the link below. I'll put because we're going to follow what this does. Yeah. If it makes fresh thing. I say if it makes good money, I'll buy it for Dad, but I, I, I don't have the money. Or oh, this. That's a good thing, man. Yeah, yeah. This is a nice Sunday video. It's annoying I can't stay with one because there's so much to look at. But it'd be interesting to see in the comment section which one would your favourite be? Which one would you pick? Holy moly, look at this. Was it just shy of just over a hundred tractors? My favorite so far is probably the case 5120 or 4240. You said you're gonna sell them at the farm. At the moment, they're going to yard. Yeah. But they're going on a field. Now, I need it to stop raining for a day or two. <laughs> Don't we all? We might just have to have a bit of a, <laughs> a rethink. Oh, those guys servicing tractors. Yeah, they're just making sure they're all right. Everything's to go. mint. So, obviously, we know Pete because he is the demolition, demolition king. Scrap was that? King. Scrap, Scrap king. king, that was it. So he's the scrap king. Obviously he's got his own company, so he's making sure everything runs. So when you buy it, you know it's going to run well. Land Rover, that's in. Land Rover's in. Oh, is it? Yeah. Land Rover Defender. 90. <laughs> MOT. Two Series 3s as well. You selling these in here, yeah? These aren't in it, but these are for hire. These are for what? For hire? These are for hire. Rolls Royce. Holy moly. 
So you do wedding cars on top wedding of Wedding cars as well. <laughs> Unreal. This just is... Just the way to get your back back on. That was... The story of that car is that's a 1926 Phantom 1, 46 horsepower. Yeah, cool. It was sold brand new out of um, Jack Bartley Rolls Royce on Barker Square in London that's still there, sent to New York to a lady. The lady passed away three years after having it and then it was bought by a fellow called Joe Kennedy, father of John F. Kennedy and his brother. So when John F. Kennedy, President of America with kids, that was family car. Wow. If you've got three or four in the guns, but you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> 300, 400 grand? Yeah, you'll there somewhere there. Like but yeah, if you want to hire a car, these aren't for sale. These won't be for sale. Well, everything's for sale at the price. Everything's for sale at the, at the, at the price. <laughs> but yeah, we have them and we have all the rollers there for hire. Well, that is cool. We've got all the rollers there for hire. That calling and you don't see a lot of them about. Just see this beautiful thing. I just missed it. He went, dog to drive, but it's amazing. So 1929, did you say? 1926. 26. Nearly 100 year old. Wow. So this is the shed. This is the shed. This is the shed. For two years, we've been saying we'll have a look at this and never had the well, chance to. Well, there's a famous roller crawler truck. So every time there's Christmas parade or anything like it's it. It's done well as that. That's a truck trailer that we've all got into charity. All the years, a lot of money. So Pete does a lot for charity. How much have you raised so far? Well, in July this year, we'll pass a million pounds what we've raised for local charity the last 15 years. Well, it's only, it's not me, it's the people that... Yeah, yeah, but it's you've organised it, haven't you? Yeah. This is what, these aren't for sale, but this is with like a few plastic forge in here. If you're my age, you'll, you'll remember these, you wanted one of all of these as a kid. How many have you got? Uh, well, it's easy in here, there's a few to be honest with you, all the building, the one at your so... Everything we've got ten. Everything on tickle charge as well? Yeah, just keep on tickle. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dad does the same. When I was a kid, I had 2,000 and things, that's what I oh, wanted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I could have had one in my RS500, Cosworth, well, money wouldn't allow, obviously, but now, yeah. still out of the car. Yeah. A lot of you probably didn't know, but Pete, you told me the history started with, and I don't mean to be rude with this, no. nothing at 14? I started with, no, I started with a trailer on my push bike, stealing mm. trees off Canal Bank, selling <laughs> logs to council, uh, to council houses up road while I was milking cows at local farming. That's how I started, build it up, nothing. build it up, build it up. Nothing, don't do any harm, start with nothing. No. It's not done me any harm. You appreciate the You plan. learn the value of money. <laughs> oh, what have you got up here? It's brand new, isn't that? So when you come from Evans House, you're off docks to here. <laughs> kept it brand new. Delivery mileage only, Mustang Bullet, limited edition. Come from Evans House, you Never been? Never been used. Yeah, Mustang Bullet. Mustang Bullet? Yeah. And then these here were collections. The lad had built the collection up from being a kid. Yeah. And they were getting divorced and they had to go, so I bought the collection off him. Got to join us about these cabinets. Yeah, yeah, these are well. Are they called? I think that's called a scorpion in it. Uh, a class scorpion. Some, I'm trying to think what they're called. Well, five, Harry, got Harry five Wilson months. Few, He's it? got two. Harry two Wilson's got two, innit? If Harry, if you ever want to mow some grass, yeah, do some sick grass, content. Yeah. yeah. Five mowers at once. All it does, I think, yeah, I think he's got. 50 foot to pass, isn't it? Yeah. Unreal, isn't it? Makes the old two drummer look a bit sick. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a quite cool. It was a shame for lad. He built all this up over years by him. And a lot of them aren't just standard models. Quad track, blogs would yeah. like that. Ollie's just got one of them, hasn't he? He has. Good old blogger. You, know, for modeling, might buy it, you never know. And it looks like I've had a bit of a collapse here. They're <laughs> <laughs> all it... loaded that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Push the limit. It's a nice little collection, isn't it? Beautiful little collection. And the beauty being, why we built it like this, it's got all the boxes from it. No. All the, everyone has its box with it. Yeah. We built it like that so we can keep all the boxes nice and dry. You've got the evolution of a fashion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. There's some money in here. Uh, 200, 250, 200, 200, 200, 600 grand in here. 600 grand in a shed. And again, Pete started from nothing. Again, I don't mean to surround, that sounds really rude there, but no, you know. I'm not right. I, hey, listen, I'm not, I did start with nothing. I with yeah. nothing. And I think it, it's great. We, well, I, I was very fortunate, was born into the farm, but it's great seeing what you can do with a bit of hard work. Yeah. Ford Transit County. Is it, is, it on, is it going for sale? Yeah. Four wheel drive, yeah boy! Yeah. Look at that! Counter conversion. <laughs> a counter conversion. So if you wanted to make a, let's say a... One of them big peak, like four wheel drive yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what you set off with. And then here's some little floods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got a 3,000, yeah. 2,000. Like I said before, they're bad to find. These two will be very bad so to find. So I think we used to have a 3,000. More than likely, if you're on a scraper. With a cab. Uh, yeah, we used to have a 3,000, I'm sure of it, my dad will let me know, with a cab, 
and then someone didn't put any oil in it and just killed yeah. it. Yeah, I think that 2000, I give a lot of money for that, and the reserve on that will be very high. Yeah, and I don't think it'll sell because people think too much for that. But try and go and try and find the oil, you just cannot find them. Look at that. And that's what happens because they're small, they go on screen. Yeah, yeah, tight, tight wheelbase, you can get around yeah. the box. Yeah. 4,000 here. Now, this one delivered, this was uh, Jack Eskis in trail. That's uh, to Cardinal's finding trail, it's getting down there. Oh, it was, so it's not gone far, is it? No, it's in the trail. I bought, well, I bought it off him and did it up, and we'll log on it now. I bought it on it. 7,000 there, that came out there. That will be one of the top selling tractors here. Do you reckon? That will be, yeah. That will be 20 grand plus. <laughs> Can't get it. Can't get it. Not about this again, 1,000, you don't yeah, see what yeah. that came out from. So you've nearly got the whole collection full set, of these, haven't you? Full set. Wow. So everything was in here? Yeah, everything. It's all in here. Wow. That was the first one bought a lot of years ago. Like yeah. 27, we painted it up. And the reason it's on that trailer is because it's a pig to start. It nearly <laughs> killed me one day, I won't handle around it, fired me up and sent me through garage doors with it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's not in sale. That's, that's not. That's no. too much of a pride. Yeah. Series three there it's sale. I think we used to have one of these as well. I might be able to get it from my old photo. Might be, might be able to get it in an old photo. I think I made Dad sell one of these, but ours was rusted to stink. This is like that's good. Tidy, Look at that. Just a today. Wow. It's tidy. No rust. Well. On the face of it, you have aluminium body on it, a chassis at Russell. Um, that was my granddad's old wagon when we used to farm, and uh, I came across it about 20 years ago. Wow! And, it. and then, a bit must be longer, 25 years ago I bought it, we had it signed written up and that. And um, we lost Pepper Hill Farm, and that's when my dad turned to drink some alcohol, and that's when we lost everything, and that's why we set up with nothing again. But that was my granddad's wagon, and we bought it and painted it up. And then I got in a bit of bother with a kid and that thing, long story, and I had to sell it to pay for um, QC. Yeah. Sold a lot of stuff, and I managed to buy it back again. It won't be going anywhere now. That's not going anywhere with <laughs> no, that? No. That was your granddad, Thomas Marcus? Yeah, Pepper Hill Farm. Farmer contractor. Cat for 200. <laughs> <laughs> David Brown's an old little Zetta. Little Zetta, that's a bonny little thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's a little like quirky thing, isn't it? Yeah. Bonny little thing. <laughs> Runs like a little bobbin, you know. <laughs> There's no wrong with them tractors. Everybody David Brown, that's a, big, a that's a big two-wheel drive. That's that a big spraying thing, that. I've been spraying only thing here. There's no door spray. Mm. I'm bossing without door. The Massey 135. Yeah. We already had a 135. I learned to drive a tractor on 135. 290, that came out. What's the college called? Um, is it Newton Rig College? Farm, farming College. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bonny little Oh, thing. yeah, John yeah. Deere. Nice to John Deere. Up for you, Cap. That's what you want. 2140. So that's, would that be the same just with a round cap? Well, I mean, that was a way to model. With oh, it's got that smell to it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I mean, Dad's cars always, I remember the smell of them. Came working out of Denmark, that. Came out of Denmark? Mm. That'd be a good working track. Wouldn't that wrong, like you say, you could run all these, couldn't you? Well, they'd all run, they'd all run. Anyone know like, a little small one or something? That'd be good yeah, to yeah, yeah. right, right. This was the first fence into Lancashire. Is that right? Yes. Air Edge. Eighty eighty one, wouldn't it be? Tell you what things oh look at this massive. That's the one, that's the twenty seven twenty five. That will be sat at the big reserve. Because it's just it's only done two thousand seven hundred hours. <laughs> it's absolutely it's as brand new. And that came is that an eighty? Yeah, that came from the same time over in Europe. Oh really? Yeah, I bought a few off so much. What, was he selling it off his farm? No, he, just, he was selling them, yeah, he bought, replaced them with new tractors. Yeah, yeah. And that had only ever had a power hour on it while he had it. Yeah. And that was his plowing tractor at 27. I can tell ago. that's a plowing tractor. That's a big tractor, isn't it? That was a big tractor. It's big big tractor. tractor. I remember going to like uh, Royal, Sh Royal Shore down at Stormley as a kid and looking at these and thinking, Bloody hell, look at that. It's incredible, isn't it? And it did some grunt and did some racks with them, you know what I mean? They could yeah. be heavy, they could pull like a train. And you got a and combine. And some stretcher with a few combines in. They're on other farms. There's a mural around the corner, isn't it? This will be interesting. Oh, no. wow. I have. No. I've never seen it. It's like a. a bit like a county, but yeah, a mural. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now then, though. <laughs> you know. Be interesting. I don't know where that will make. I know where it needs to be. It's like a, that's a proper collector's thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out. And they're all really well looked after. Like, look at it. Yeah. We haven't bought any rubbish. Like no, no. 
It's not tired at all. We've, I've got to get I've got to get in. We've all a bit of like rust up with things, but like this one's a bit best. That Ford's a bit, yeah. A bit scabby off end. It runs like it runs well. And we had to buy a bit of rust stuff to get the good stuff and then yeah. I've sold it to all the years and I've gone. There's not a lot of chances in my life I'll be able to sit in one of these. A mural, a mural hill that you could pull with this. Oh, it's round, round, round uh, your way, I think. Really? Yeah, Smith Brothers at Thomas Staff and Richard Towers at Radkirk. Yeah, yeah. In a mural. The only thing is, like, because it's so wet, could you imagine driving this in the field these days? I bet that travel better than a, than a small track. Really? Them. Yeah. Like a floor, not be as heavy as you think on them big tires. Wow. I thought they'd be well heavy. Better than you think on that. Someone's got to have a go at combining with this. Yeah, threshing. <laughs> but again, when you bought that sea wrench, 60s, it'd be something yeah. else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a dream, wasn't it? Why Cooper used to have one down at um, Trails, White Old Farm at Trails. He had one of these. He had one of these. And he had a, 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 is this a Crusader. He had a Crusader and he had a Cavalier. This so is this is going in as well, yeah? Sorry? This is going in as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think there's about five combines in, different ones. Wow. They're at level five. That's a little greenhouse tractor thing that I bought that one that I don't know what I'm doing. I bought that. I bought it and I bought it when the ride up wagons picking up from somewhere. This could do well. This could do well. Well one of them went about 30 grand last year in an auction. Really? 30 yeah. grand? Yeah. That's what they're going. Well I have a front loader for it as well. Again, you won't be able to get them and they'll all be just either rusted or dead or 35. Every farm has a 35, 165 there, 175 out there, 178 here. You must be well pleased when you got these, isn't it? Yeah, you must be well pleased when you just got yeah, these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a piece of beauty, that. It's lovely. That, that is the best out of the lot, aren't they? Yeah. Been done up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I Someone's spent a bit of money on it, But if it? someone wants to spend a few quid and a bit of time on their hands, it could do that up. Yeah. It's good enough to do up. 188, that came up from France. At 1080 oh, came up. Well. Yeah, that one had a Schindler axle on it. 1080, that, now they were massive in the day. Them, were they? Yeah, they were a big tractor. Huge, mm -hmm. huge in its day. David yeah. Brown. Dave, you see that he's up, still tugging boats out of yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the estuary, anything, they're don't about, you? know, they are about. So if someone wants one for that, they could, yeah, there's yeah, something, yeah. you know, that's like you your old scrape tractor. What, this here, that's what we call it? Bit tidy. Yeah, exactly yeah, 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 yeah. Exact 100%. And what you do, make sure they all run before the. They're all running, they're all on the cake. Right. We can deliver them anywhere in UK, mainly. Are you, are you delivering? We will do if you want to deliver them, it costs. Hell of a collection. Gonna be very, very exciting. And then you've got even more. What? Is there what? 60, yeah, 60, 70% here? Yeah. Mad that, isn't it? So this was Paul, I put this shed up for him. We set up for this shed. I got it off wearings and it ran to them, them wind braces there. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, hmm, that's not just really big enough when we put it up. So I put another two bays on to where it bends. That yeah. was to boundary. And then a mate of mine come, he looks after speed boats and he has and he'd service them for winter and he said, can I, can I, how much would it be to rent that? I said, well, I'm going to fill that. Exactly. He said, well, what about putting, and I, and I only went to there because some of my dogs are buried here. Yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't build over them. Anyway, I thought it was a bit of profit at job and a bit of rent, we'll concrete over them and we'd be happy with that. So. We put this lean to on this first lean to to that column. Yeah. And we went to there. And then we ended up with more tractors. So we put that piece on where we had to bend out boundary. Yeah. Where he's bend me that. And then last year, because we had more tractors again, we ended up having to put that last lean to on. It's a big old shed like. It's a you... big shed, isn't it? It's gonna be mad when it's empty. Well we'll soon fill it again. <laughs> Are you gonna go again, well, do you think? Yeah, the idea is we'll, we'll we'll pull this money out, we'll use it, get it get us rolling on this other farm where it's quite a bit of development to do. Yeah. Probably need like half a million quid just to chuck into there once we bought it and just start <laughs> job rolling. Just, so just... we'll get that going. That's very Yeah, I was gonna say we've not that's seen that's this. That's that one seven five. That is mint. I just looked at it and thought it's been done up. Wow. Look at that. That is mint. Again, it's a piece of beauty, it's lovely, isn't it? It'll be more for 10 grand that I'd like to. Yeah, you'd think so, 100%. Where'd you get another one as good well as that? They didn't make so many 175s, but they made them for three yet. And you must have gone, oh, I need some more space at the front. Yeah, so we put this up here, we could get wagons in because we struggle getting wagons under there. Yeah. We have this wagon here and we have the Toy Story, it's in yard at the moment. One that we did for charity, the other that one. That Toy the other. Story, yeah. Yeah, the Toy Story yeah. show. So, and they wouldn't just, we need a bigger door. So we had a bit of a fallout with council over planning for that because I didn't, I didn't think you needed planning to put a shed up, but anyway. <laughs> um, apparently he did when they came. 
And uh, anyway, we got that signed off. And then we popped this up in the middle while we were doing it, caused a bit of a riot again. <laughs> but anyway, we are where all we are. All signed off now. It's right now, we're all right. <laughs> listen, oh. listen, that planning job, it's... <laughs> uh, I'll, you, I'll, I'll, I'll edit that bit out just for... Uh, <laughs> it's mad really where you start, like starting and then you're here. I know this is a little bit of the whole enterprise. I don't see it though. So we ended up, when we had Pep Hill Farm, and then that was my grandma and granddad's, it was on the Dutch estate. When my mum and dad got married, we got Moss Farm. And then my mum and dad got divorced, my grandma and granddad died, we lost the tenancy on Pep Hill, my dad drunk everything we had, and we were walked out of Moss Farm with the bailiffs in 1987, because we had no money and my dad had spent it all. By this point, I was grafting away. I remember going home from school when I was 14 years old. I took a letter home from my dad for a skiing trip from school. You told me this before. And, and he said, you don't go on that, lad, we can't afford that. And I went up to my room, sulking, not hating my dad, but not happy, because yeah. my dad went out on drink again. And I vowed to myself in that room that night, by the time of my dad's there, if any kids would go anywhere in the world, mm -hmm. um, and I would have a big house with gravel driving and a Rolls Royce. And I never went back to school. And the biggest reason for going, not going back to school was to share my time with my pals with no money to go skiing. And that was that. So I went, I saw it, I used to milk cows at Tomlinson's at Term Gracemire. At night I'd go and nick some trees off Canal Bank, chop them up with an hand saw then, bushman, yeah, yeah, yeah. when I got a chainsaw, a flying lad. <laughs> but bushman at first, and, and chop these things up, bag them up. George Barnes, who used to be blacksmith at, at Worlds, he made me a trailer for me push bike. I could get three bags in trailer, and I'd take three at six o'clock in the morning when I were milking, drop them off at one at houses, go and milk, go home for my breakfast, set three more bags. Go home at dinner, take three more back, go home at tea, and I used to milk for David Ayton where my yard is now. I milk for David Ayton at night, so he milked three times a day, and I'd take three more bags then. Yeah. And that would be income off the, the firewood. I was having a good day then. I was two pounds an hour or something off Tom, off that milking, <laughs> and I were on uh, I, were, I, I were on 75p a bag for my firewood. And that's what it had. and it just grows, doesn't it? And then Moss, Moss Farm, I managed to buy it back about three or four years ago. So we're back down there now, we've gone full circle with that. That was That's my net, that's off just off the cheap. M55, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. We just put we've got a big tip past there, put a million ton of muck in there for an acoustic bun. But that's been big that I would say that's the biggest achievement I've done in life was Fine. buy that back. And I wouldn't go in it when I'm buying it. It was funny, I wouldn't I would not walk through mm. the door. And we did the deal with the Dutch and it weren't really for sale. I suppose they haven't really bought it. I bought a 500 year lease on it, that's what I've done. Yeah. yeah. And um, I wouldn't go through the door. And then when we finally bought it, when the keys came, when we dealt up, I went down and I let me sell in and found an old chair inside and went and sat back in my old bedroom. And I absolutely, I, I'm not too proud to say I bowled my eyes out for five imagine. minutes. It hit me like a brick wall. Full circle. And just, it's just gone on from there, hasn't it? You know, I don't see what we've built. No, no. It's, it's day to day, but... Every day, just grafting away at it. As a group of companies, we probably turn over somewhere at region 11 million quid a year now, like, so... And that's just, from three bags of 75p bags. Yeah, if I Probably four I'll, times I'll a day. At, yeah, and then milky right. morning and nights. How mad is that? So, if you are struggling at school, and you're not really thinking it's hard, you have got to finish it, but... I it, couldn't I couldn't read till 20, 20, 20 25. <laughs> couldn't read and write till 25. Listen, it doesn't matter. If you're preferred to graft, you'll do anything in life. <laughs> if you're preferred to get your head down and get stuck in, you'll not take any arm whatsoever. It's a huge achievement, isn't it? I say, I don't just see it saying, but the property portfolio is probably, I don't know, 40 houses and industrial units, two or 300 acre of land, two or three farms. How many wagons are you running? With 300 lumps of kit top road with wagons and machines. <laughs> And they won't be cheap. Because we've just seen two of them. <laughs> and they won't be cheap, will they? No, we we'll buy some big stuff with them, or we run some big machine. Yeah, well, that crusher that you've got, you've got three of them, haven't they? One of them's quarter of a million, isn't it? Yeah, they're a quarter of a million apiece, new ones. And then with some 50 ton machines we bought, new ones, uh, quarter of a million again. It's all dear, isn't it? Anything you want's dear. And yeah. the trouble with our job is with that demolition job, unless you've got a million quids of the kit, you can't get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to turn up on a job, and you've got to be good at your job, and you've got to have all the rest of the year now, you know? So unfortunately that's the way it's going, that's what it's always going to be like. Absolutely class. A huge thanks again for Pete taking the time. We were meant to do this two years ago. Well, like well, so. Pre-Covid weren't it? We were yeah, going to do it the week before Covid. I, we were I, on phone. Uh, yeah, and then Covid happened. But I remember Mother was like, I don't think it was the right thing to do. It should have gone that time. And this we're going to have a tour around. We're still going to do that. Yeah, we'll do that's that. Not this was derelict when we bought it. This one I did up. This one old nurseries. That was all old greenhouses down there. Full of rats when I can. It was only probably a third of what it is now. Come a very, very long it's a bit way. Too big for me rattling around in on my own, didn't it? But anyway. Yeah, well, it's nice to have space and look for it. Again, a big thanks for Pete for letting us look around. Um, the sale is on the 20th. 
23rd of March, it's at Briar's Farm at Lear. If you look on Sheffins' website, there's catalogues and all the details on there and all the terms and conditions. It's at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now we're saying it's, there may be a little change of venue depending on the weather because we're wanting to get them on the field if it's yeah, too yeah. wet. We might be struggling, but it won't be a million miles away wherever we go. We're going to do that, and we'll try and get there. It just depends what we're doing that weekend. We'll try and get there if we can. I'm going to say thank you for watching the video. Six days from now, because it's Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, next, yeah, week on Saturday. Yeah, week on Saturday. So yeah. six days. Check it out. Oh, man. Again, comment down below your favourite one. Probably the cases, because obviously they have a special place in the heart of the farm and international, and everyone loves a fort.